Hi guys, welcome to Heartlight Tarot and Astrology. My name is Holly. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I work with energies of the tarot along with what's going on astrologically to give you guys a predictive forecast. So if that's something that you're interested in, consider subscribing and the notification bell so you get notified when I post content. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. I've missed you guys. This is going to be a remainder of 2024. So the remainder of September when I get these out, October, November, December into 2025. This is the energies that you guys have for the remainder of the year. Um, if you haven't yet, check out the astrology for September. And it's also included with tarot. Um, those are in the video list. Um, so if you're interested in that, to know what's going on astrologically. If I see anything in your reading, I'll also let you know. But this is just basically tarot. Um, and also, uh, yeah, it's going to be for the remainder of 2024 and the energies that you're carrying, uh, maybe even through this eclipse, okay? Um, so this is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising placements. I hope that you guys are doing well. Let's go ahead and get started. Archangels, thank you for protecting this reading with your white light and letting me know what it is that you want Cancer to know for the remainder of 2024. I don't know why I was just shown a car uh, uh, and you driving, uh, someone driving it. Okay. I just saw the hands on the wheel. So maybe you are manifesting some kind of car that you want. Um, but that's for somebody. King of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. Definitely thinking about your money here. The Sun, Leo Energy, uh, Can or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Capricorn, <clears throat> Ten of Cups. Four of Wands, Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands at the bottom. Definitely reaching the end of some kind of pattern that you're noticing right now, okay? Um, it could be in, the, in regards to how you think with the Swords here. I'm going to clarify your card. So King of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, and the Sun. <clears throat> that tells me that. You're definitely focusing on your money and there's being your money is being highlighted here with the sun. It's shining on um, your ability to lead in regards to your finances. <clears throat> this could be a male in, in influencing the situation too with the king of pentacles or maybe somebody with a masculine energy. Um, why is the king of pentacles, eight of pentacles and the sun here? The justice is the part of Libra. We also got king of, I don't know why I shuffled again, but I was called to. Knight of swords. Why is the ten of cups, four of wands? Ten of swords here. I'm just going to pull one for this one. Bottom of the deck energy, ten of pentacles. Definitely thinking about what kind of life you want to leave um, the earth with. Not, I mean, I'm not trying to sound morbid, but like, what kind of legacy you're leaving for the next generation. You're definitely thinking about that right now. And I feel like you've been caring so much for other people um, to kind of make sure that things are going to um, work out the way that you would like them to and the way that you could be proud of. Okay. The Ten of Pentacles is the legacy card. The Ten of Wands is carrying too much. Um, it's also being proud of how much you are carrying. Okay, so, but definitely carrying too much in general. Um, but I felt like you needed to. You felt like you, you feel like you needed to, is what I'm saying. And that it really wasn't that big of a deal. Okay, uh, you wanted to carry all of that strife or all of that problems for your family, or, you know, you didn't feel like you needed to ask for help because. It was kind of some kind of lesson that you were trying to learn or to teach other people is what I'm hearing. Uh, King of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, and the Sun. With the Justice and the Knight of Swords. Definitely trying to listen for some kind of um, legal news, okay? You're definitely waiting for a news, news from an air sign, maybe a Libra. Gemini or Aquarius, Aquarius you're waiting for it. Um, you feel like it's going to happen any day now in regards to your finances. I feel like you've been working on one financial um, situation in particular. 
And the sun is telling me that it's, you know, it's become a really a big importance in your life. One that has made you to made you take action. Okay. It could be a Leo in your life right now of significance. The Ten of Cups, the Four of Wands, and the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Cups tells me that you're definitely feeling like your happiness is right around the corner. And right now with Mars being in your sign, Cancer, you know, you already are about home and family. But the fact that Mars is there in your home is showing up here in the center of your reading. I definitely feel like you're going to be taking more actions on the way that you think and you communicate and your maybe your communication style um, in order to find more happiness in your home. I feel like this is something that you felt in the past that you can't quite get to because right now you're focusing on something financially. But I definitely want to let you know that continue creating, continue to be creative, continue to decorate the way that you always tend to. Cancers are very um, in tune to style, right? I mean, it could not, it's not for everybody, but I, I've just noticed that over time that their sense of beauty is just so extravagant. And it's always something that I would wanted for myself, right? The ability to decorate um, and create this environment in their home that is just absolutely beautiful and welcoming. Um, I definitely feel like right now your focus is more along some kind of legal issue, some kind of waiting for some kind of news. Um, you know, really working on something in particular to become a master at it, um, could be in regards to the foundations of your home. And you feel like, you know, once this is done, because, you know, you're highlighting on it, um, that your happiness is right around the corner. But what the 10 of swords is saying is that it's time to drop that. You can still be happy anyways, um, by decorating, cre uh, creating, um, making new meals the way that you've always used to, to um, inviting family over and caring for them and nurturing them and taking action on your family with this Mars and Cancer energy. I'm um, just taking action is going to get you that happiness. And the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands are just dying out here. You don't need to carry on this, this, um, this, these secrets. Okay, I'm, I'm hearing secrets. You don't need to carry on. Um, somebody else's baggage. Okay. You're letting go of that thought of, you're going to be letting go of that thought of having to carry other people's baggage. Um, okay. And the 10 of swords is telling you that that's a way that you kind of accustom yourself to think, let me finish this thing. And then my happiness is right around the corner, but your happiness is still there. I feel like if you're get in touch with, um, your creative side here, um, possibly maybe you're getting ready for a baby, um, and you feel like you need to get some legal implications, a will done, or, you know, a house, you know, contract signed and, you know, you know, you feel like you can't rest. Um, but you're being called to rest and, um, kind of allow energy to flow to you again. I feel like you might have some kind of stuck energy, but you're, you're reaching the tail end of it. Um, so it's, that's a good thing. Let's get you guys uh, some more energy or some more cards. What else do you want Cancer to know right now in their life? Five of Cups. Water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Definitely thinking about the past here, grieving over the past, um, wishing things used to be that the way that are wishing for the way that things used to be. The Ten of Cups is coming up twice. You're definitely um, looking at the past and thinking that that was a happier time. Okay. Um, but like I was saying, it, it's okay to be happy now. It's just, it's going to be a new kind of happiness. So something definitely happened. Um, something definitely happened to make you change and feel and shift. Um, you know, the way that you think about your happiness. Yeah, definitely dealing with some kind of heartache. Could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, once you pull these swords out of your heart and look at them and uh, speak to them in a way where you speak to your grief, right, with the Five of Cups here, telling, telling um, yourself that was the old life and things happened for a reason, um, the sun is showing up again, Leo energy. So there could be a significant Leo in your life for sure. Um, but I feel like 
feel like you could be a Cancer Leo cusp as well because your Leo's coming up very strongly in this reading. But you have to shine light on not just your finances is what I'm, I'm hearing. You got to shine light on this heartache too. Because um, once you really look at that heartache and take the sores out of your heart, and not let those the negative thoughts of the past control you and really deal with the trauma and grief. I feel like you're going to be very happy again. And it's going to be the type of happiness that you didn't feel like you could get back. Definitely feel like, like you're dealing with some heavy energy cancer. Let me know in the comment box below how this resonates with you. Give us a thumbs up. Definitely feel like you're tied to your own thoughts with the Eight of Swords. The High Priestess, your energy is going to change. Okay, the Knight of Swords is showing up again. Ten of Swords showing up at the bottom. What happened, Cancer? My goodness, Ten of Swords twice. Ten of Swords deals with, like, <clears throat> really seeing the way that you used to think um, and thinking to yourself, wow, I really cannot think that way anymore or I really cannot talk to that person anymore. I really don't have that person in my life. And this is why. And it's better this way. So you're definitely at a crossroads here of just letting um, that old life fall by the wayside and shining light on a new life. <clears throat> I feel like you're being bound to your thoughts, but there's going to be new clarity coming in here with the Knight of Swords. It could be in regards to a Libra or a financial, um, a financial decision or a financial. Um, I'm sorry, a legal implication. The high priestess is here is telling you that you're going to use your intuition here. It's going to come and it's going to rescue you. All right, well, I'm going to leave that there, Cancer. Let's get your love oracle card. Okay, thank you, Archangels, for being here for Cancer's Sun, Moon, Rising, Love, Oracle reading. Let me know what it is that you want Cancer to know in regards to the remainder of 2024. Cancer, love. Cancer, love. Gratitude. Express your love. Stay optimistic. Redirect your thoughts. Focus on what you want to attract in your relationship and stay optimistic. Definitely feeling like um, you're holding some things in. You're not wanting to express something. Um, maybe it's in regards to something that's going on with yourself personally. Um, but you're being called to be grateful for the things that um, this, this partner has brought to you. Um, you know, they say too, they say, uh, that when you think about all the positive aspects of your relationship, they tend to show back up again. Yeah, definitely going to start being grateful for how far your relationship has come here with the Seven of Pentacles. Um, positive energy. Gemini is at the bottom with the lovers here. Um, gratitude. You need to be grateful for the love already present, present in your life to attract more of it. Definitely, if you've seen the movie The Secret, um, focusing on what you don't want is something that's going to come to you. But when you focus on something that you do want, that you track more of it. So it's like, think of the times in your relationship where things were great. Okay, at the beginning of your relationship, um, when you guys were supporting each other more, spending more time together, when they would buy you flowers. And you're going to see that, you know, things are going to start popping back up. Um, and they're going to be about the same that they were before. And I feel like you're definitely looking at your life, your love life with this person and seeing how far you guys have grown together here with the seven of pentacles. This is express your love. It is important to let people know that you love them. You have nothing to lose. Expressing your love, um, in regards to your home life is something that you're going to be doing here, or maybe you're having trouble doing and really connecting with people. Staying optimistic um, will bring you some more stability. This could be a um, Cancer or this could be a Leo Sagittarius Aries that we're talking about. It can also be a um, Taurus Virgo Capricorn. But 
get some more cards for you. What else is going to happen here? What is Cancer thinking right now? What's on their mind? I definitely feel like you want to say something, but you're scared to. Um, maybe you're feeling like it's just you here with the Ten of Swords and you don't want to say anything. You're waiting for some amount of clarity. Um, I definitely feel like you're going to try to learn your lover or your person, your significant other here with this page. Um, Tower, I feel like maybe you feel like things are ending between you and somebody else. They may be feeling like they're not the same anymore. Um, the Ten of Swords is saying maybe you feel like you're, you just want to leave um, and you're waiting for some kind of clarity here with the Page of Swords so that you don't feel that way anymore. The world at the bottom definitely feel like you might be thinking about leaving or have thought about leaving this relationship. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of fighting going on. The Star card could be with an Aquarius, Ten of Wands. You feel like you carry so much in this relationship. What does... Um, Cancer significant other want to say? What is their person? What does Cancer's person want to say? What are they thinking? They're definitely waiting for you to make the first move here with the Three of Wands. Could be a fire sign, could be a Capricorn. I feel like they're dealing with their own baggage and mentally, internally, some kind of turmoil, dealing with some kind of addictions, self undoing, um, some negative thought patterns, and some codependency issues. Um, maybe they're thinking about, you know, beginning again in regards to their finances and their stability. Um, so that's probably why they've been distracted. <clears throat> they want this life with you though, this 10 of pentacles. They might have broken your heart, put you in a third party situation. Maybe you found out they were cheating on you. Maybe you cheated on them. Um, I definitely feel like there's a lot going on in this relationship. Um, this person definitely wants you, though. This Ten of Pentacles. What else do you want? What's going to happen here? Nine of Cups. You guys are going to realize that you guys want this relationship. That it's really that you're willing to fight for it. This Page of Wands. Um, definitely going to start learning each other and how to be more passionate and move forward in this victorious way. The justice is showing up again. It was showing up in the general part of your reading. So if you haven't seen that part, I would rewind it. But I definitely feel like some kind of legal situation was going on. Maybe you guys were on the brink of divorce. Um, but I feel like you guys are going to be moving towards what it is that you guys want. Um, could possibly be going through your separate ways here with the page of wands because this person is alone. This person is alone. Definitely feel like this relationship um has positive aspects to it you guys might realize that you want to keep moving forward with the nine of cups what do you want what else do you want cancer to know okay i feel like there's going to be an app an area of confusion not wanting to admit some things not wanting to talk to this person about certain things with this two of swords at the bottom but I definitely feel like this person is it for you. This person's going to offer you something. It's going to confuse you and have you really like weighing out your options on whether or not you should stay or you should go. But I definitely feel like this person is it for you with this King of Cups here. This person does bring happiness into your life. Um, I just feel like you guys have your own things you have to deal with. Um, I hope that that was helpful for you guys. Let's go ahead and get your career in finance reading. <clears throat> Thank you, Archangels, for protecting this reading with your white light. This is a career in finance forecast, tarot forecast for the remainder of 2024. Please let me know what it is that Cancer needs to know in regards to their finances, their career. Career in finance for Cancer, please. Maybe you're thinking about refinancing or going for a loan. It might be denied at this time, or maybe it just recently was. Um, I feel like you need to pay off a little bit more debt and boost your credit score in order for you to be able to be approved for this. 
save money. You're being called to save money. Um, I feel like some kind of training might be coming for you. Maybe you are training yourself on how to save more money. Maybe taking a money saving class. Stress to impress because you never know who you could be meeting in this training. You could be offered a job, maybe a job in which you'll be able to pay off your debts and save money. I feel like you're going to be having some unexpected income coming in. Um, and then you're also going to be saving money. So you're going to be able to pay off some debt. Uh, I feel like you might be meeting some somebody um, in regards to finances and um, in regards to getting a new job to pay your bills. Um, so that's positive. You could start selling things online too. I just heard Etsy in my head. Um, so maybe you might be getting creative and selling some, some of your creations on online. Okay. Having an online store. The high priestess is continue with this journey, um, of trusting yourself, the chariot, you're showing up in your own reading. So I definitely feel like you're going to be, um, yeah. Cause in the beginning of your reading, we were talking about your finances. I feel like you're really zoned in on your finances here. And you're zoned in on what truly is going to make you happy with the ace of cups. Um, going out on the leap um, with certain things, maybe trying something new in regards to finances, like I was saying, maybe an Etsy shop or selling something online. Um, Mars being in your sign right now is the best time to do that and cut off some really bad habits because Mars is about cutting and severing. Um, the Queen of Pentacles. <clears throat> I definitely feel like the Queen of Pentacles is, is a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. That might be offering you some kind of a stable job because they can see just how strong you are and how much you can really take on. Okay. Um, the high priestess is continue in this energy of knowing and trusting yourself. Um, and if you need to take certain risks in regards to your finances, it's okay to do so because you're definitely going to know if it's right or if it's wrong, you're not going to get sucked in too deep. You're definitely going to be selling something here, paying off some debts, I see positivity here, so I'm going to leave it there. And I wish you all the best, Cancer. Let me know in the comment box below how this resonates, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.